Hey guys, Music Therapy Last here now in this really big, awesome store. This is like as big as a guitar center in here. Uh, let me show you around. I'm, I'm at the top here at the uh, drum section. Let me get my little stabilizer stable here. <laughs> anyway, uh, I went around to a couple other shops. They were really small and they didn't have very much. And then uh, one guy told me, go check this place out. So I went to uh, the fourth stop on the way was... Uh, uh, Tum Tum Tam Tam um, Drum Center in uh, Budapest, which was on the Yozef Kurut, I think. So um, we're here in this drum section here, which is huge. We've got a large selection of drums. I was just playing that uh, that set right there. So no, actually not that set. It's an acoustic set. The guy was on the phone, so I can do that. I was playing this one. The Roland VAD 506, but everything kept slipping, <laughs> so I kept slipping out of position. But they got, they've got the B drums here. Look at that, and you know those really nice mesh B ones like these and that one. They're pretty sick. This one's an actual like regular stand set, so it's got regular stands, so it's easy to move things around. Um, so I was just rocking out on this thing. Yeah, and uh, let me take you guys around so. this time because I don't want to be told no again. <laughs> I'm just doing it. So they got some, they got like a audio video, like studio room here with all the interfaces that you might possibly want or need, right? Check that out. They've got it all here. Yeah, some really, really nice studio monitors in here. Waves, Callies. Oh, these are awesome Dynaudios, PreSonus, the Adams, Adam Audios. I almost bought a set of those, but then I ended up with the JBLs. I like the JBLs better. Honestly, thought they were a little bit more true. They gave away more. And um, then you got your your classic Yamahas. We used to have these in our studio. Those are again a nice. That's I almost bought that size, that set of atoms, but I ended up with a smaller. And then we got focal, so those are some serious, serious studio monitors there. Real expensive, right? Check those things out. Nano Nano, that looks like the spaceship that Mork landed in. And then you've got your standard, uh, you know, studio mics. Right? Really, really nice setup over here. Of course, you can test things out, but you probably need to get some help in here for that. Nice. So let's head on down to the guitar section here. Of course, they've got all the uh, PA stuff here too. Check that out. Front of house mixer, Presonus Studio Live. These are really nice. Um, the zooms are also a comparable unit, but I think this is one step above that. Um, get your little zip, 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 zip. <laughs> and some just you know, live, live rig. I've got a small version. I think I got a, I got a small one that's not like it's like this, but it's a. Uh, I think it's a uh, Joe Gibb. It's me. Oh, you got your sure, your sure mic set up over here. Yeah, very cool. Now here's the guitar section. Yeah, look at this. Let's zoom out. We got Jackson. Jackson. Probably a bunch of Schecter too. Ibanez over there on that side of the wall. Fender, of course. They got a full, a full onslaught. I was saying that just somebody just came and sold stuff and there aren't anymore. <laughs> That's a nice selection. Beautiful selection of guitars and basses here. Valtronics VTX 40, I think, or 20. Yeah, it's the VT 40X. That's the one I gave to uh, the intern, Nick. He has that. Got Black Star. That's pretty cool. Right on, extend the cab, some more black star, some nice bags, and some very nice bases. Squire bases, straight up fender, 
That's a nice player series face right there. I like that one. That's cool. Yep. And a lefty base. Look at that. <laughs> it just looks weird, doesn't it? Looks weird to me. <laughs> a lot of Squire stuff in here, but they'll have the real stuff too. Not that those aren't real. Those are perfectly real. But here's an Ultra. Look at that, that Cobra Blue. The Ultra base. That's sweet, man. And look at look at how those strings just sparkle, just like the uh, guitar, right? Nice. That thing's badass. So, one million five thousand and ninety footings. It's a lot. <laughs> and these are cool. The Ventura Made in Mexico series. Okay. Very cool color, right? That's what they're, you know, I think they've kind of been pushing their prices up a bit too much, and I think they got in a little trouble for price fixing in the EU as well as in the US. But that's cool with the Filtertron style pickups on there. Look at that. It's like a three piece, or it could be, yeah, maybe more. One, two, three, four, maybe four or five piece body. That's a pretty cool guitar. Interesting setup. And then. Who doesn't want a Bigsby on a Tully, right? That's a badass. Another Ventura series. It's got the Pothero fretboard. But it's cool that they did with the vintage, the uh, vintage looking clay dots. That's pretty cool. Do a Sonic. All right. So I have an appointment at four o'clock at this vintage uh, kind of specialty shop. Oh, there we go. That's cool. Brad Paisley. Right there, right? cool. I think that's the one that's made of uh, cedar or something, cedar wood. It's very light. I played one of those at Gelb Music in Robot City, um, but the one I played was a custom shop. So it's just got one pickup in it though, just a bridge element, look at that. So that's not the Brad Paisley, but it's pretty cool. I like that sparkle. And that road-worn look is pretty badass too. No, it is the Brad Paisley, so it is. It does say Brad Paisley on it. So, I lied. That is a red paisley. But anyway. And there's a black. I like that gallic, galactic color. What do they call this? This universe color. It's kind of like a sparkle black on the ultra here. This isn't the, um, the one that's kind of like got an oil color name. I forget what it's called. But that's the, the Lux, the Ultra Deluxe Tele. That's pretty killer. Yeah, they have an awesome selection here, you guys. Look at that. Seafoam green, 50s style, nice, very, very cool, yeah, awesome selection of stuff here, you guys, this is definitely the place to come, if you want to check out some really nice gear, look at that, Jazz Master, now that's super cool, man, with EMGs in it, probably the retroactives from the look of it, that's really cool, man. Well, that's the Jim Root, so of course. <laughs> of course it's cool. Jim Root, signature jazz master. I love the, I love the shape, and I love the look of it that way, you know? Just very cool. Kind of like a milk white satin. No shine. It's very cool. Like a bone. Bad to the bone guitar. So here we got the Ivanos section. Nice. I really got to get more into Ibanez. My brother Andrew is a huge Ibanez fan. That's a cool semi hollow right there. Satin black with that aged binding. Looks badass. And that purple's pretty cool too. Look at that. Yeah, Nina. Nina Strauss rocking it with her latest Diva guitar. Is it Jiva? There's a guitar, so Jiva. <laughs> She's hot. Hot player. Got some squires down here. Got strands. Right on. Pretty cool. That mini one. Oh, and here we got the headless Ibanez here. That's sick. I can never tell like by the numbers what they are. Q5H, I'll say something. 
But that's pretty cool, you guys. Look at that. It's got the Everton type style bridge on there. What is that? Oh, it's just their single. Yeah, it's a single satin, first string style. But I like that. A lot of companies are going with that satin kind of look. It's really cool with that roasted maple neck. And it feels fantastic. Nicely rolled edges on those. And it's got kind of a brass looking. It might even be, no, it can't be brass. Could it? Could be brass. Could be a mixture with some brass. Because it's got a gold look to it, you know? Headless Ibanez. That's pretty sick. I'd love to play that thing. I don't have time. <laughs> I'm just hopping around from one store to the next. I've been playing the drums more than guitars because it's just e easier to sit down and just play some drums. There's a cool. There's a gem. A reverse. Look at that. We got the monkey grip on the opposite side for the lefties. This must be like a Gem Junior, right? Yeah, it's a Gem Junior. Brand new, but looks super cool, man. And of course, their bases are awesome, man. Best bang for your buck in bases almost. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Look at that. On top. That kind of color, the stripe in it. I think that was, that's what that is. That's pretty killer. Mm. I like that. That flame with that satin finish, that flame maple top. Really nice. Nice stuff. Some other dudes here checking out some D'Angelico's and quartz up at the top there. Those are nice. I have that quartz seven string. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There we go. We got a Paul Stanley esque looking kind of thing here. Oh, very cool. That's got Paul Stanley screaming. Oh, wow. Explorers down there and some Epiphones. I think um, Epiphones have been really killing the market lately. I've been really lucky to have uh, you know, a really smart guy running that show. Right? Al John Go. Dude is super cool. Love to have him on my show sometime too. I love Jackson. You know, just rock and roll all day long. Look at that. And yeah. Oh, look at that. They got his Acoustic Socks up there too. I almost brought my Acoustic Socks. I almost brought it. I almost brought a pedal board. And then I just ran out of room. There's another version of these. Little six string headless Ibanez is giving uh, Diesel a run for their money. <laughs> anyway, these look like they're, they're already spoken for, perhaps. Nice, look at that. Nice looking, kind of iced tea colored. Uh, and that's a cool offset. Yes, the LCD Phoenix, I think it says. Yeah, that's super cool. Just got a humbucker and a volume knob, and that's all you need. <laughs> Rock and roll, man. Yeah, oh, that's nice. It's a nice telly. So let's head down, and then I gotta get going soon. Let's head down. So here's the acoustic room. So I remember being here a long time ago, but I don't think they had this section over here then. And I was playing on a Yamaha electric piano. Got some Ibanez's in here, some some Fenders. That's nice. Really, really nice selection. I gotta say, this store has one of the best selections of guitars I've seen in a while. A lefty, solid top. Very, very nice selection. Look at these acoustic amps. The Boss, the Fender, the little brown one. Another Fender, another Fender, and another Fender. This is a, yes, that's like a full stack acoustic setup. <laughs> I'm joking. Two of the same. That's still super cool. The AC-33, obviously an AC-30 esque maybe. Acoustic app? That's good.
you know, Black Star Acoustic Amps. I've never even seen some of these. This is a, this is a great, great store. I'm going to come back there again when I have more time. It's always time in the way, you know? Wow, that's nice. Look at that thing. That is sick. I love it. Look at that binding. Nice. It's not a cheap one. <laughs> it's like, well, it's actually like around what? 40,000 footings. 40,000 footings is a uh, hundred bucks. So that's what? Five hundred, six, seven, seven hundred dollars. Alright. Five times forty thousand is two hundred thousand, right? Am I saying that right? Yeah. Plus eighty-six, so about yeah, seven hundred something dollars. Pretty cool. Very nice. That one's nice too. This one's a little bit more. Probably a couple, three, four hundred dollars more. I'm a, I'm a musician trying to do math in my head. Give me a break. <laughs> and we got the Taylor section here. Very nice. nice. So the last place I was at told me that I definitely have to come here and check out this store because they have everything. And man, he wasn't kidding. Nice section of fenders here. Quartz. Alhambras. Alhambras make really nice classical guitars. Should I play that? Let me play it real quick. Let's check it out. Quickly, because I don't have a lot of time. Okay, I'm going to flip it. Here we go. Hopefully that doesn't fall. Flippity to the dog, flippity in. Don't let that guitar fall away. Check that out.
Espana. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Alhambra. All right, let's keep moving. I'm gonna go check out the keyboards real quick. And I gotta head out of here. But I gotta come back here. I gotta come back here maybe on Monday. Spend a little time in here. Look at the acoustic bases. Very nice. Ibanez. And Court. We gotta get Joe a little studio set up over here in Budapest, man. Yeah, these are the kid size things, the little parlor size guitars. Right. Head on down to the piano section. Oh, look at that little Roland electronic piano. Yamaha. Electronic, you see? No sound. You gotta plug it in. Another Roland, so electronic. Showing you how the keys damper, how the dampers work. Really nice. I wonder if you just pl turn it on if it's gonna work. Volume. Turn up the volume, guys. There you go. So that works. feeling for a little for just a little electronic piano man I think it's pretty 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 killer and then we have more over here controller types I like a little little mini piano over here Casio for your home practicing all oh, these are really good these these 125 B's man these things these things are badass Really, really nice. Alesis Vivo. Vivo Los Pianos. A Dexy Bell. I've never even heard of that. Oh, the RD200. Check that out. Very, very cool keyboard. More Dexy Bell over here. A Vivo. So these must be some, some European brand I never heard of before. Digital pianos, man. And then we've got the Hammonds. Check that out. Ah, oh, yeah, man. It's got that. It's got that feel, man. I mean, you can even hear it right now. Can you hear it? This is that kind that you do that. And then the Hammonds. Really, really cool. I'm gonna have to get out of here. That guy's gonna be pissed at me. <laughs> Yamaha's. A whole Yamaha set. The CP88. That's the new kind of like stage organ and synth kind of machine. That thing's badass. Badass machine. Very, very cool. The waterfall like keys, you know? See that waterfall kind of keys there? For that Hammond kind of a thing, for sure. It's got the little draw bars. And then we got some bigger, some bigger ones over here. These are great for like if you're a top, you know, top 40 band or top 40 band and you're doing stuff where you need all kinds of drum machine sounds and everything too. Oh, here we got a Jupiter. 
Nice. We don't seem to have any volume on this. No, so it's not plugged in. Maybe with headphones you can listen to that. Oh, here's my keyboard. I got a DS88. Love that thing. And the Phantom. Ooh. Or a Shifty. Very nice. And of course, everyone wants one of these, right? The Axe Synth. <laughs> one day I'm gonna get one of those. <laughs> make like a baby and leave, or make like a make like a tree and leave. Make like a baby and head out. Pardon me. Just gonna walk around. I'm gonna have to come back. I'll remember this place because it's very, very cool. I got some paraphernalia here that you can take if you want. Bands in town kind of stuff. So I gotta head back to my car, which is like a block away. So I'll walk you guys down to the car, one block. And um, yeah, hopefully this guy's gonna be cool, waiting for me. Unfortunately, uh, this is the best store. This had the best stuff so far. Really, really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that little walk around in there. And um, the next shop, so this is episode five. Episode six is going to be in a some kind of a boutique guitar shop. So I'm heading over there right now. Um, hopefully it's not too far. But everything's right nearby each other here in Budapest. So um, getting hungry. I haven't had lunch, but I've been snacking on some peanuts and just water. <laughs> Because when you drive around here, you cannot even have, there's zero tolerance, so you can't even have .0001. <laughs> they'll, put, they'll pull your license. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what they would do to foreigners, but I don't want to find out. So I'm almost at the car, so I'm going to turn this off. So hope you guys enjoyed that little walk around in that awesome store. And I'll put all the info in the description if you guys are interested, if you're ever in Budapest. Until next time, episode 6, y'all. Music Therapy, Laz out.